Hey everybody, the Bond is back. Welcome to part 17 of Let's Play Banjo Tooie, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. I said in the last episode when I ended it that I'll be coming here as Mumbo, and well, this is what he needs to do. Yep, you can enlarge Wombo's wigwam itself. It's a weird thing to do, but you can do it. Oh my god, that opening is huge. Also, how the hell does that, that Globo keep getting out of there? Like, does Wombo have a lot of them? I'm just gonna come in there and pay a visit. <laughs> Mumbo not welcome! Leave now or be in big heap trouble! Huh, <laughs> screw you. Also, how the hell did you manage to stay the same size? Oh, well, that is weird. Oh well. Guess I gotta come back as Banjo and them. And by them, I mean just one person that. Oh, one person. One bird, and that's Kazooie. Because, you know, those two are together. As a team, not... Don't ship Banjo and Kazooie together! It makes no sense. There's been no indication that they have a romantic relationship despite being, you know, being of opposing genders. I mean, guys and gals can just be regular friends without any chemistry in that way. I mean, can you imagine the uh, arguments those two be having? Like, you know, we gotta donate to charity because he was like, screw them! They're gonna put themselves in that situation. I'm like, uh, Kazooie, this fur victims of the Holocaust. Uh, don't do this. We, we've talked about this. Like, seriously, no. Like, ah, they shouldn't have been there anyway. I don't even know why I bother. <laughs> uh, let's just change form. And you actually turn into a bigger dinosaur! Wumba called this Daddy T Rex! Use control stick to move and beat him, make much noise! That's right, Wumba, I'm your daddy. With tiny arms. <laughs> daddy tiny arms. That's who I am. Oh, my arms actually look a little bit more adequate. Cool. I can actually step on this. To get the Jinjo! Oh, there's a time limit, and I can't go through the cage. Hey, don't get stuck now, stupid dino. That's why you guys are extinct. Well, at least Grunty stopped during the transformation. I better say time out. I gotta get to that Jinjo before the time runs out, which for some reason keeps pausing. Which is fine, at least Grunty is fair. Even though she could just be evil. I mean, she is trying to suck the life out of everything in this entire world, but in terms of like a timed event, she's like, hey, there's nothing you could have really done. I, I can't take that from ya. Even though I. She easily could have. Uh, I think before I decide to return to being a d another dino again, what I am going to do is just split up. And I believe there was a split up pad around here. I don't know where exactly, but I need that in order to hatch that egg. Split up pad I think was around... I don't think it's this way, I think that's where you get the move. Not the move like Jagger. <laughs> Not that move. <laughs> oh, it's right here. That's where the split up head is. Let's take care of that first. Because I remember where the third egg is. It was all the way over here, right next to the water. I should be able to get to that pretty easily, I hope. I don't think Azui's going to have any problems getting there by herself. I hope not. Wait, you can't reach that? Oh, yes you can, okay. Uh, you can't get up there? Wait, what the hell am I doing? I can fly! 
Oh, whoa, God, how the hell did you do that? Like, really? Don't go doing that, because you're scaring me. Uh, could I fly as just Kazooie herself? Or do I have to have Banjo to get the spring boots? I don't think that would make any sense. So I think I need to actually fly in order to get up there. Yeah, I can get the spring boots. Alright, that's cool. But now how do I get the spring boots? Now I gotta do this. It's one thing after another. Okay, that's out. Alright, alright. That's cool. That's cool. Don't miss the spring boots. That's why you came here in the first place. Oh, that's right, Kazooie jumps higher by herself. Alright, now let's go over to that egg. Finally. I felt we were due. Dear God, if I actually landed, like, away from that egg, I would have been like, oh, God. That's eh, better. No, we've been over this. They're all the same! How do those eggs even get over there? Like, I can't understand it. It's like, did you just have, like, one random birthing period, and it was just like, boom, put the eggs everywhere, even inside a couple caves? Or if they were stolen, how, how the hell did they get taken? I know, I got a text message, I'm not answering that. Not yet, at least. Uh, where was the split up at to again? I think it was up around here. Maybe. No, if I don't find it, I mean, oh, okay, I did find it. I could at least do a different one. It don't really matter, like, where you get it, as long as it works. <laughs> okay, so I think now we'll go back to being a big dino, because we need the big dino for one other thing. So let's get that taken care of right now while we still can. Okay, that was just like somebody like saying like a uh, Facebook was having some problems. She's like, oh, good, good to know. I'm not the only one. Well, I guess I'll be watching Bonga's Let's Plays of Yuji Mario hacks because all she watches, which is fine. A lot of people like them. Okay, Big Dino, you got one more job for me. And I think you know what it is. Wait, can she, can it actually use the warp pad? You are too big to use the warp pads! Oh! Okay. That, that's kind of mean, don't you think? Like, I'm very sensitive about my size. Just saying. Well, at least I can deal with all this crap. Wait a minute, can I actually get hurt? Oh no, they can't even hurt me. I'm indestructible. Yeah! I know where I need to go. You remember that caveman that tried to keep us from going through? Well now, it's no longer going to be an issue. Because we are mighty big, and he is mighty not. Ari, that's scary. Me must go change loincloth. Where the hell are you gonna change it to? You're not gonna change it over there, are ya? Okay, how the hell do I get back? That's a million dollar question. Just go around this way? Can I do that? Uh, I don't think uh, Big Daddy's gonna fit in there. No, not Adam Sandler, because that's one of his films, Big Daddy, not his magnum opus, Happy Gilmore. Look, out of all the movies Adam Sandler did, like, there's only one for me, and that's Happy Gilmore. And it used to come on CBC, like, like almost around the last week of June, every freaking year. I don't watch it every year. 
but it's one of the Adam Sandler movies that, why am I going this way, that I actually find bearable. The other one is just like, ugh, God, it's another one of those clips or movies where he's a bumbling idiot and some hot chick manages to fall in love with him, which never really happens unless he had billions of dollars, which actually did happen at one time because of Mr. Deeds. Okay, well, there's the wig bomb. I can't believe I missed that. <laughs> All right, let's return to uh, the Ungabunga cave. No, not the Ungabunga. It was, it was Oogle Boogles, yeah. I wonder if they play Boggle and just call it Boogle by accident to avoid copyright. I'm just saying, like, you know, it's possible. Instead of playing Boggle, they play Boogle. I mean, in The Simpsons, they had, like, a parody of Raffi, and they called him Rufy, which I don't know how they managed to get away with that, because he was supposed to be a derpy guy that plays songs for babies. But he's named after a freaking date rape drug. Like, how, how did you get away with that? It makes no sense. I'm just gonna go, okay? Let's just deal with this. Wow, you guys are a little worse for wear. Maybe you should turn on the heat. <laughs> Hello. You should see someone about that stammer. <laughs> no, that's the stammer. <laughs> Freezing cold. C cave, no central he heating. No food either. Ungo Bunga tribe got guard outside cave. P please, warm cave up. <laughs> food? You got a jiggy? Maybe warmed and f f f f first. Well, I can get the fire part down path. Wow, you're real cold. Be warm, but still need food. Junk food, good. Uh, that's a matter of opinion. <laughs> uh, I guess you need to be lit up too. There you go. Wait, there's another egg. Be warm, but still need food. Junk food. Okay, they say the same thing. All right. I'm guessing the egg is up here? Yeah, it's up here. Wait, are you trying to... Were those came in eating themselves? They had to eat something. They must have been hungry. Something's not right. Also, how the hell do some of these uh, Oogle Boogles get up here, then? Wait a minute, this is probably not for another caveman. Oh, wait, it is. Like, do they all meet up or something? Because that guy's in a completely isolated area. He doesn't have a bird friend. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. That is weird. Is there just, like, one of you? What are you eating? I gotta see. Oh my god, they're eating dirt! Well, it's a little better than self-cannibalism. I'll give them that. But still! They're freaking eating dirt! No shame whatsoever! I'm gonna hatch this egg, okay? My lord. Things I do for people in this game. Wait, how the hell do I get up to that egg? Where was the egg to, anyway? Oh, yeah, it's probably... It was up this way. Yeah, it was up this way. And they got that pad because Kazooie cannot climb. There we go. Get this one hatched, too. Oh, that one's bigger. Yikes! She's a big girl, isn't she? Too right! She can't even fly! Ah! I'm not sure if there will be room in our nest! You couldn't just hit it with one of those grenade eggs, could you? You heartless! Not only joking! Bring her back to me, and I'll work out an exercise program for her! I'll just go and find Banjo, then! Oh my god. I gotta actually use Banjo to carry this pterodactyl all the way to the nest. 
And I hear it's usually the last one, no matter where it is. So keep that in mind. There you go. You got out of an egg and now you're in my bag. That's weird. <laughs> Usually when it comes to fertilizing babies, it's the opposite. Like you come out of the bag and then you end up in the egg. I'm just saying. <laughs> I made a funny. Oh, uh, what would be the best way to go about this? Like, I want to warp to the nest. So I guess I'll just go here. So I can get to a warp. And then I'll be able to uh, take care of the rest. I'm so glad that you can actually still use the warp pads, even if you got something else in your backpack besides Kazooie. Because if you had to like climb this whole mountain as Banjo, I would imagine it'd be nearly impossible. That's right, there were steps up here. Cool. Alright, Terry. Got you your kid. Oh, get it, bring it over. Thank you. That's the last one! Thank goodness. Kazooie won't want to see another egg for the rest of the game. Here's the other half of your reward, as promised. And it's another Jiggy. I think that's gonna be the last one we can get for a while. So I guess we're done with Pterodactyl Land. All right, to save us the trouble, rather than just go all the way back to Kazooie, I think the best thing for us to do is save and quit. Because we are done with this level for a while. Alright, so, what should we do next before dealing with, with World 6? I think what we should do... Well, we'll take a look at our stats. Well, I've been playing for like 7 hours and 47 minutes and got 49 jiggies. Not too shabby. Yep, so we're all reunited again. That's good. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is I actually want to head to a Gloomy Gulch Mine. No, Glitter Gulch Mine. I call it Gloomy Gulch Mine. And the reason why, well, it should be pretty obvious, is that now that we got the spring boots, we can get that last jiggy. And also, I gotta remember if I went into the uh, water cave to uh, use the talent torpedo. I don't think I did that yet. I should get on it. If I remember correctly, though, no. The way over to the Jiggy was around where there was a waterfall. So I guess if I just follow where the river is, where the river is flowing, I should be able to get there. Yeah, you can actually hear it. Um, did I miss it? Did I really go the wrong way? I think I went the wrong way. Yeah, let's, let's go a different way, then. You know, the correct way. I was pretty sure I was going the right way at the time. Oh, I know how, like, rivers work. You had to go the opposite side! How did I get that wrong? It's like, I should be going, like, to the source, not the destination. God, what's wrong with me? I don't understand water today for some strange reason. Just follow where the river is going. No, where the river is coming from, I mean to say. You go that way, then you'll be able to get to that jiggy. Yeah, it's right here. How'd I mess that up? I have no idea. Yeah, it should be around here, exactly. Where are the spring boots? Oh, I think that's where the spring boots are. Oh, oh, yes! We got it! It's Jiggy number 50! 50? Oh, I didn't... I didn't want to do that again. Uh, where should we go next? Oh, water cavern. 
I think the train station was near it, if I could be completely honest. You almost got me again, I will admit. Now this is cage will stay open the whole time, that's convenient. Now all we need to do is just go all the way to the very bottom. Wow. Could I have not done that any worse? Alright, let's test this out. Are you much easier to do when you're like a first person? I see you, Banjo! I did not mean to do that. That was the one thing I didn't want to do. Yeah, I think it's slightly better if you uh, go uh, first person. Oh yeah, it's definitely much better to steer. And now we just open that passage. Let's top up our air just because. Okay, now we can finally go in this way. See where it takes us. I am very intrigued. Very intrigued. And Hailfire peaks on the icy side again? Wait, I got the ice key. So with that, I should be able to open this ice safe. This Globo is actually different. Wow! You've caught the legendary Mega Globo! It's supposed to have really special magical powers! I certainly hope so, it was trapped in there. That's what you needed the ice key for in the first place, to unlock that. And with that, we are out of here. Okay, that was the fastest way to get out. Alright. So the Mega Globo is actually good for Wumba's Wigwam in Isle of Hags. So let's just get out of here while we still can. I know, I could have just like saved and quit it again, but I don't really want to do that. Like, not again. So, I think the next thing for us to do, I guess before I forget, is probably go to a witchy world and take the, that stupid kid over. Like, I'm just gonna mop up like some uh, things that we can do now with our new moves. That should make things a hell of a lot easier for us in terms of completion. Also, how many honeycombs do I have? Seven. I can get a, like, a health upgrade right now. Why don't we do that first while we're actually in the area? There you go. I want my health now. There we go. One extra energy unit. I'll be taking that now. So how many do I have now? Nine. Oh, I need nine. Huh. I need nine empty pieces of honey now. Or empty honeycombs, rather. If we can be completely honest. Okay, so we're gonna go to Witchy World next, but we still got a little bit of time. I mean, all we gotta do is just go this way. I'm not completely lazy. But I think we'll stop over to Wumba's Wigwam first. Seems that we got that Mega Globo. We should be able to do something with it. I have very special spell, but need legendary Mega Globo. Let me guess. I bet there's only one of these Mega Globo things, and it's really hard to find. But correct. Now go and find. He much surprised. You have the legendary Mega Globo. Want to get to Humba? Sure. Sure, I'll just throw it in. Jump in the Wumba pool so we can get our very special spell. Okay, nothing has changed. Wumba called this dragon. Well, what's changed? 
Kazooie now big heap dragon! Burn many baddies! Okay, basically what that is, like you hold B, and you got a flamethrower attack. And another thing that they don't tell you, you have unlimited fire eggs. I kind of think it's cool, but I'm actually going to stay as like regular Banjo and Kazooie. So I feel like once you get like the dragon power, t most people tend to keep it. I'm just going to stick with the bear and bird combination. It just seems weird if it's like a bear and dragon. I mean, that's some D&D shit if you think about it. Well, bugbear or owlbear and dragon. In our D&D campaign, we've run into very few dragons, actually. Okay, there was also a split up head in the inferno as well. So we'll be needing that to bring that brat over. Where's the split up head exactly? I hope to God you split up and die. I mean, look at ya. You're pathetic. You're worrying your mom. She brought you into this world. I mean, she could take you out if she wasn't so lazy herself. up to me, I would just put you in my backpack and just throw the backpack in the lava. Let's see how you like that. There, I hope you actually do suffocate and die. You stupid kid. Causing all this trouble for me. That I had to wait to like two more levels to get a move to bring you home? Or bring you to your mom? Really? You make me go through all this trouble? Here! Here's a damn kid. What did I tell you about not running off? I'm sorry, Mom! Sorry isn't good enough, young man. You've been eating again, haven't you? Well, you'd still better want your dinner. It was that strange bear, Mom! He made me eat this burger! Enough of your lies! Yeah! Do it! Do it! That's gonna be someone's gif. Or a ringtone or something. Well, I think we've all had enough excitement today. Time to go back home to Hailfire Peaks. Boggy will be wondering where we've gone to. He'd better have the dinner in the oven. Bye then! Thanks again, Banjo. Take this jiggy I found in the ticket office earlier. Have you ever heard of a bra? You might need one. You're gonna knock yourself out. You know, same as you try to knock your kid out. Why are you holding your head like that, really? Oh wait, why do I bother go to the Inferno? I mean, there was like, a pad right there. You know, around the big top, there's an actual, like, Banjo-Kazooie pad. Cause I don't- I imagine you would not be able to exit a level apart. I never tried it, but I'm just gonna go for the whole sake of doing things like this. He's like, I just do this. I mean, what's the difference, really? I might as well just go to the skull then. Seems that we're already here. Yeah, let's get this over with. Oh, oh nice leap, if I say so myself. Uh, uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Flirting with disaster, and I'm the master at it. Alrighty then, I think it's time for us to go. It's time to leave this place. We'll have to come back here again eventually, but for now, we probably have to wait till we get yet another move. And the reason why is that we need to come here to bring the food to those Oogle Boogles. Which, unfortunately, we cannot do, because you need that move to return to that place. We haven't been to Wooded Hollow in a while just to, like, uh, play the game, so let's do that. At least we don't have to go back to Mayhem Temple ever again, except for, like, cheats. Oh yeah, I need 36 Jiggies for the next challenge, and I got, like, 51. Will I have... Do I have enough Jiggies for, like, the... For, like, all the levels? I think I do by now. Well, 
this is for Hailfire Peaks, of course, which is stage seven. Well, I suppose you can just do them out of order if you so choose, but it's not recommended, all things considered. So this will be a little bit of a lengthy video, I, I will admit. Most of these videos tend to hover around the 30 minute mark, because there's just so much to do anyway. So it is a, a fair length, now that I think about it. Alrighty then, we should be getting this finished soon enough. Oh, wow, it definitely has to be like the third one out of three. Perfect. I think there was only like eight challenges, or was there a ninth? There might have been a ninth to just allow you to get to the last part of the game, I don't know. Even though it's not an actual level. We'll deal with that anyway. Alright, you do your typical spiel while I check my phone for other things. Like emails and stuff. Oh, Banjo-Kazooie has subscribed to me on YouTube. Like, uh, apparently they're on an adventure, but they got plenty of time to subscribe to my channel. Even though there's no hyphen in their name. That's cool. Alright, so Hailfire Peaks is now open, but we're not going there anytime soon. I kind of figured I had enough Jiggies for the 8th uh, challenge. Which opens the way to uh, Cloud Cuckoo Land. I needed 45 for that one. Well, that's exactly half the Jiggies. Oh jeez, that's a lot of pieces you gotta put together. Beautiful. I like the challenge. Okay, Hailfire... No, not Hailfire Peaks. Cloud Cuckoo Land would probably have to be one of my least favorite stages. It, it might as well be the least favorite stage for me. Because it was just so annoying to deal with. It's gonna be a while before we go there, but I am dreading it. There's also, like, one particular Jiggy that of all the years that I've played this game, and I used to play this a lot when I was a teen, I could never get that one Jiggy. Could never do it, no matter how hard I tried. And like nine times out of ten, you guys, if you had to guess, you probably already know what that Jiggy is. I might have already mentioned it in a previous episode, but in case I did, I'm mentioning it here. Alright, so that should open the way to Cloud Cuckoo Land. Which I think was around the Wasteland. No, it wasn't the Wasteland. There, now open that up for me. Much appreciate. Okay, this video's been going over 30 minutes now. I already mentioned that, but I think it's going to approach well over 35 by the time I'm done with what I need to do. There you go, that's where we need to head. And it just creates a bubble, that allows you to get up there. Do not have enough Jiggies to attempt challenge. Oh, there's a ninth challenge! How many do you need there? 55. Well, I'm four away already? Really? That's what happens when you put a lot of effort into try to collect everything. Alright, so why don't we just go to the wasteland? I know I could go to Jolly Rogers Lagoon and get one more Jiggy right away because I have the hatch move. But I'll deal with that later. For now, why don't we just go to the wasteland and see what we can do now? 
And it involves these. Yay. Let's see where this will take us. Oh, that takes us to the quagmire. It's pretty nasty in here. That leads to Grunty Industries. Let's see what else we can find over here. Um, that's the that's the clamber boots, so we can't do anything about that. That means we need them in order to uh, get somewhere. Luckily, we have no feathers to, to collect. Wait, I hear a Jinjo. Wait, can I trust you? No, I can't. I could not trust you at all. Oh, uh, where do I climb up? I think I climb up here? If I can climb up here, I don't know if I'm able to reach it. Uh, looks like I can't reach it. Yeah, it's too high for me. Alright, so I guess I do need the clamber boots in order to get up there. Like, you need it to walk up somewhere? I'm trying to think where it is, but it doesn't really matter because I can't do anything with it. Either way, it looks like we need to find the boots in order to... Damn you. To find the boots in order to get up here. So, there's that. So, we'll take care of Grunty's Industries in the next episode. See you, everyone. Thank you for watching.